All right, so we can do everything now except delete run. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add a few attributes to this delete link. So in the show runs function, let's see, we have our delete link is right here. And we need to do some things. We need to first add an ID to the link. So I'm going to set this to delete link. And then we also want to get the miles and the data date. So we want to copy this, that in there. And then one more thing we want to do is a confirmation that they really want to delete. So we'll say on click. And that's going to be set to return. Um, we're going to return a confirmation. And we're just going to, whoop. We're just going to say, are you sure? And we need to escape these quotes or it's going to be mistaken for um, trying to concatenate like we are here. Okay, so we're going to put a backslash here and here. Okay, so we'll save that. And then inside of our up here, we're going to create the delete handler. Okay, so. I'm going to say um, delete link on tap is going to run delete run. Actually, you know what? We're going to do it like this. All right, so we're going to change this to delete. And then this is going to delete run. Okay, and then we'll create that down here. I'm going to copy the edit run function. Okay, it's very similar to the edit run. Um, we're going to loop through and take it out except in delete run, we're obviously not going to update anything. Okay, so change this, this, and we need to set the current data. Okay, we're getting it here, but we're not setting it. So I'm going to copy that from set current. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. Delete run, put it first. Okay, so we're setting it and then we're going to get it. Okay, and then we're going to get the runs object. We're going to loop through. And if the current iteration matches the current miles and the current date, then we're going to splice it out. We're going to remove it and put it back into local storage. Okay, we don't need this or this or this. Okay, and we also don't need this. Okay, so we want to alert, we'll say run deleted. All right, so let's try that. Okay, so delete. And there we go. Perfect. All right, so last thing, we just want to be able to clear everything. So let's just quickly add some more. Whoops, that's day hasn't happened yet. All right, so let's create another handler. Basically, we're going to, I'm just going to copy this. Call that clear handler. 
and this is going to be called clear runs. Okay, because we have the ID of the button on the home page is clear runs. So we're going to say on tap, and then we're going to call the function clear runs, which we need to create. Okay, this is going to be a really short function, really easy. Okay, so to do this, we only need to call local storage dot remove item runs. Okay, remember this whole time, uh, all we have we have one um, local storage value for our entire object. Okay, so that's all we need to do is remove runs. All right, and then we're just going to insert. Okay, we'll say stats dot HTML and we're going to put in here you have no logged runs. Okay. So we'll reload, clear. All right. You have no logged runs. And let's just make that red. Okay, so stats, stats P, because it's a paragraph, say color red. All right, and we also want that shown if there's no runs here. So we need to do that in show stats or show runs. Okay, and show runs. Here we're saying if it's not equal to null, we do this, and then we want to say else, then we're going to do the same thing we just did. Where is it? Grab this. Okay, so now if we have no runs, it's going to tell us. All right, so that's the entire application. I know that the, I might have confused you a little bit. Um, there was a few things that was a little little tough to explain, but hopefully you get the gist of it. Uh, there's a lot of great tutorials online as well for um, this type of thing, local storage, jQuery mobile. All right, so hopefully you like the project, and I'll see you in the next. Thanks.